Hello, welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Chris Costa. And I'm Joanne Lathlam. So Joanne, what do you think we should cover tonight? Well, I understand we have a new uh, layout template feature. Can we take a look at that? Sure, we do. Uh, it's a very nice feature. It'll let you uh, basically program a, a layout template that you can call very quickly, you know, mm -hmm. set up a four page, an eight page layout, okay. set up the design. It won't carry forward the ink or the, or the paper, but it will let you set up the layout okay. uh, just for quick recall. Sounds okay. good. Can we take a look at what that looks like in Enterprise? Absolutely. Okay. I'll just open up an order I have here. And I'll just edit one real quick here and I'll go into a component. And when we get to the layout screen, you'll see this is already preloaded as an eight page template, okay, or an eight page layout. Now it doesn't have the, the paper and the ink. Even if I had paper and ink in here, mm -hmm. if I made this a, a layout template, it wouldn't hold that, the ink and the, and the paper. It wouldn't save it with it, but it would save the layout dimensions. Okay, so you'll have your pages, your number of inks, your sizes, all that. That's right. Okay. That's right. Okay. So if I want to save this, okay, I would still go to the template button like you normally would, save a template. Give it an ID. Okay, just call it eight. I can just call it eight page. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to put in a category, of course. Okay, I've got one set up for layout templates. You want to make sure to change the template type. It's not going to be a full template or a full component template. It's going to be a layout. And if you want to assign this, um, you know, cutter cost center codes. Uh, post press codes specifically, you can assign the cutter and the folder codes in here so that when you do bring in this layout template, it will bring in these other codes with it. Okay, great. And I see it says both a pre press cutter and a post press cutter, so you can bring in both. That's right. Okay, great. Okay. Um, and I can either just type these in manually, or of course, I can go through the drop down and grab what we need. Okay, and that's really all you need. And then I can go ahead and save the template. And of course, if you wanted to assign it to a customer, you can do that up, up at the top like you normally could with any other template. Okay. Okay, um, great. Now, can we take maybe take a look at how you would go into maybe a blank estimate, select the layout template, and sure. see how it comes in? Sure. So let me we'll cancel this, and we'll start fresh like you suggest. Okay. So if I add brand new. Come into a new component, and if I go right to the layout, let's say I wanted to grab maybe a four-page layout or the eight-page layout we just started. Okay, so I can come right in here to the layout template, go to my category. So I've got the four-page and the eight-page. Let's select the four-page. Select. Now notice it brought in the dimensions as we set up for that four-page layout. Okay, great. Okay. Can we take a look at the post press processes and pre press? Pro uh, excuse me, post press processes you set up. I assume it brought those in too. Sure. Okay, so go over to the processes tab, and if I scroll down to post press, you will see that it did bring in uh, the pre press cutting, post press cutting, uh, and then the folder operation as well. So those three processes all were tied to that template. Okay. And came through. Um, now, what if I? Um don't want to have to go in and edit each one of the cutting processes and tell it how many uh, mm -hmm. cuts I have to do. Can it auto-calculate those? Yes, it can. There is an option. It's been in the system for a little while. Uh, let's say I go to 5010, just an example here, and I'll go right up to standards. Okay. Um, there is a, a cut table that you can build. Okay. And actually, I think it's my other one. Let me go to my other process that we already have one built. Uh, okay. So let me scroll through here. All right, so this, this cutting process, I actually have one already built. You can see an option here to auto-calculate the number of cuts. Okay. Okay, so that has to be on number one. Uh, and then you can go over to the materials cut table tab, and down at the bottom, I can build a table of how I want, you know, the, based on the number out, whether it bleeds or not, how many cuts it should, it should come up with. Okay. And then based on those, um, those logics, you know, it'll automatically calculate the number of cuts. So I, I take it I have to fill in that table for every possibility of number That's out right. and whether yeah. it bleeds and exactly. cuts. Exactly. It would okay. have to fall on one of those exact okay. possibilities. All right. Right. Okay. Uh, and we can demonstrate that. So if we cancel here, okay, because we're in 
side of the component. Now if I just click calculate, and this is actually important, the number of cuts won't register or calculate until you physically hit the calculate button. Okay. All right, so if I hit calculate here on this estimate, all right, it will come back and tell us that we need six cuts. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's automatic there. And then if I open back up the process in here, you know, you'll see the number of cuts displayed in here as well. But that doesn't get calculated, if you will, until you physically push the calculator okay. button. Well, that makes sense. Okay. All right. Well, thank very you. Very good. Any other questions? No, I think that's great. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Well, this was another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Chris Costa. And I'm Joanne LaFlam. Please look forward for more to come.